it looks really easy until you go on it and then actually it's quite tricky. We are in Glasgow. So we decided to come to Glasgow for the weekend. It was all a bit of a last minute decision. Um, and we arrived here yesterday evening. So we're just staying in the Ibis Styles Glasgow Central Hotel, which is fine. It's nice enough. The room's quite compact, but um, serves a good breakfast and the staff are really friendly. Last night we went out for a Thai meal to a little Thai restaurant not far from the hotel called Thai Orchid and the food was good. We did what we normally do and we ate far too much and ended up just feeling so so full after it. Um, but anyway today, so I kind of looked to see what we could do before we came through here but because it was all a little bit last minute. Um, the things that I wanted to do were either fully booked, they'd been cancelled, or there just wasn't tickets. So, what we've decided to do today is go to a place called Four Play Crazy Golf. Now, I'll admit, crazy golf isn't something that particularly excites me, but I thought it would be fun to give it a go and see what it was all about. So, that is what we're doing today. So, come with us and let's have fun. <laughs> We're here and it's cool actually. It's, I really like it. Um, I'm looking forward to getting going with my golf club. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. It's kind of way out in the industrial estate. It's a bit of a walk, but it's nice. There's another few kind of activity centre places nearby. There's a kind of trampoline park, but this is cool, yeah. I've not played golf in years. I used to play it all the time. But I like a bit of crazy golf. Let's see if I can beat Romana, because we're both quite competitive. So I got a cocktail, it's a long iron iced tea, so it's a take on obviously the traditional iced tea but it's um, iron brew instead of coke. And I have got a ginger beer <laughs> and that's a bit as exciting as it gets <laughs> for me for the drinking. If you want as an option you can also add a glass of Prosecco when you come in, that would be nice. <laughs> until you go on it and then actually it's quite tricky. I didn't think I liked crazy golf but I've changed my mind. I'm actually having fun. I'm not very good but now and again I kind of get a lucky streak and um, yeah I managed to do it like within three but I don't think that's going to happen with this one because it looks pretty hard. There's two different courses that you can do. We've 
we've just done the pink one, pink one, and we're about to do the second one. I just got my first hole in one. It's only taken like 14 games, places, but I've got it. <laughs> This is it, the last one. I think it's safe to say that Ewan's won by a mile, but let's see how we do on the last one. Hole in one, I thought Romana was the only one who was gonna get it, and I got one in the last hole. Boom! I'm having another cocktail because why not? Um, and they've got a good cocktail list actually. And this one is called Sex in the Bunker. And this is I Can Taste the Gin, a non alcoholic mocktail. What a brilliant afternoon. I had such a good time and actually um, that place for play Crazy Golf has actually changed my mind about Crazy Golf and I've decided that I actually like it. It's been many many years since I've actually done it so to be fair um, yeah and actually if I'm being honest I've probably actually only ever done it like once in my whole life. <laughs> But that was really good and the food was really tasty. Those cauliflower wings, by the way, it's worth visiting that place just for them because they were delicious. And also the cocktails were really nice. They really packed a punch. I'm feeling a bit tipsy now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but yeah, it was just really good fun. And there's actually also one in Edinburgh as well. So maybe we'll check that one out as well at some point. So the scores are in and I won. Yes! <laughs> Uh, we both got a hole in one, but uh, yeah, it was pretty competitive there. <laughs> but um, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I really enjoyed that. As soon as you go in, the uh, staff take care of you, they're really friendly. There's lockers at the side you can put your bags in. Uh, there's table service, you want to wait and have a drink. Um, yeah, no, it was great. It was good fun and there's a kind of Glasgow theme going on in each of the holes. There's like the armadillo and the two courses in there. One's called the Cran, one's called the Cone. It was loads of fun and uh, definitely come again. Good way to spend a few hours on a Sunday. It's the end of our time in Glasgow. It's been a whistle stop. We haven't done a hell of a lot in this vlog. Um, but we've had a nice time. So last night was our second and last night in Glasgow and we went out for a meal to a nice little French restaurant called Coat, which wasn't far from where we were staying. We had some really tasty food. In particular, I wanna give a shout out for the crepe dessert that we had, which was absolutely brilliant. The caramel on it was like caramelized and really crispy, The sorry. The banana on it was caramelized and really crispy and it was just so so good so if you're going there definitely have that dessert i would say um but yeah all in all we've had a lovely time we will be back to glasgow because there's literally loads to see and do here we were just wanting a real kind of chill out time so that's why you know we didn't kind of do lots of activities but yeah it's been a nice little jaunt thanks for watching as always and don't forget to give us a little thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and please do think about subscribing to this channel it's completely free of charge and every subscriber that we get just helps us to spread the word for this vlog so please do uh, give us a wee subscribe as well mm -hmm.